Today I'm going to present a quick overview on the data structures tree and patricia tree. A tree and patricia tree are data structured for storing strings, where a string is a sequence of characters from some alphabet. Data structures for storing strings are an important part of any system that does text processing, whether it be a text editor, word processor, or Perl interpreter. Have you ever wondered how our cell phones are able to autocomplete our words? These data structures begin to explore techniques in which can help achieve this. Edward Fredkin coined the word tree from the word retrieval. Some pronounce the tree while others pronounce the try. I'm going to try to pronounce the tree within these slides. To begin my discussion on trees, I'm going to define a few variables first. T is the root of tree. S is the string. Lowercase m is the length of the string. Uppercase m is the total length of all strings in the tree. Lowercase n is the number of strings stored in the tree and uppercase n is the size of the alphabet. The following slides I will discuss the add method of the tree data structure. I begin by adding the word romaine. You notice that each edge represents a letter and the last letter has a null terminator followed to indicate the end of the word. So in here, R-O-M-A-N-E with the null terminator. The next word added is romanus. To add this word, we simply follow the search path for the string, and any time we encounter a nil pointer, we create a new node. In this case, you notice there wasn't a U coming from the end, so we branched off and created a new path, US null terminator, indicating that Romanus is a word. We do the same step for Romulus. You notice here we branch off after the M, ULUS null terminator. We also do the same for Rubens, after the R, UBENS null terminator. We do the same for Ruber, Rubicon, Rubicundus, and lastly we add the word rub. You notice that rub was already in the tree. The only addition was adding this edge with the null terminator indicating that rub is a word. This data structure has a running time of big O M N times where M is the size of the word being added and N is the size of the alphabet. The next operation that I'm going to explain is the remove operation of the tree data structure. We search for leaf V that represents S. Once we have found it, we delete all nodes in the search path from S to the root of T until we reach a node with more than one child. So in this example, we try removing the word ruber. We search R-U-B-E-R. -E There's a null terminator coming from the R indicating that ruber is a word. So yes, we'll begin to delete, remove the null edge, the R edge, and we end up at this node. This node has more than one child, so we stop there, giving us the resultant tree. The last operation of the tree data structure that I'm going to discuss is search. You examine each of the characters of S in turn and follow the appropriate pointers in the tree. If at any time we attempt to follow a pointer that is nil, we conclude that S is not stored in T. Otherwise, we reach a leaf V that represents S, and we conclude that S is stored in T. So, in this example, we search for the word Rubicon. R-U-B-I-C-O-N. There's a null terminator coming from N, so yes, Rubicon is a word in the tree. This operation has a running time of big O M, where M is the size of the word being searched for. It is important to note that the string is an array of byte characters, where each character could be searched for in constant time. In summary, I've already discussed insertion, deletion, and search. I haven't mentioned storage. If M is the total length of all strings stored in a tree, then storage used is big O M N and a reminder that N is the size of the alphabet. The next data structure that I'm going to discuss is the Patricia tree. The main thing to bring home with the Patricia tree and tree is that all internal nodes of the Patricia tree have at least two children, where all internal nodes of a tree have at least one child. Instead of an edge having a single letter, we maximize the storage efficiency by grouping characters that have one child. Before I begin, I'm going to define a few variables. T, rooted tree, S is string, lowercase m is the length of the string, uppercase m is the total length of all strings, lowercase n is the number of strings stored in the Patricia tree, and uppercase n is the size of the alphabet. The following slides will discuss the add method of the Patricia tree data structure. Instead of each character having an edge, we can group the characters into a single edge. In this case, we append the null terminator to the edge to indicate that remain is a word. Next, I add the word Romanus. You notice that R-O-M-A-N is common between both
both words, so we branch off with the U.S. and the null terminator, and the E with the null terminator, indicating that Romaine is the word and Romanus is the word. Same process with Romulus. You notice that R-O-M is common, so we split here, and we have U-L-U-S, null terminator, Romulus is the word. Same steps for Rubens. Ruber. Rubicon. Rubicundus. Lastly, we add the word rub. You will notice that rub is already in the tree. The only addition would be to add an edge with a null terminator label to indicate that rub is the word. You may be thinking that we should add the null terminator in the edge labeled UB. This was the case for the previous words, although we cannot have a null terminator in an internal edge. This data structure runs in big O M N time, where M is the size of the word and N is the size of the alphabet. The next operation that I'm going to discuss is the remove operation. This is the same as the tree with the exception of minor modifications required for handling the edge labels. In this example I removed the word Romanus. We search R O M A N U S null terminator. So yes, Romanus is a word in this particular tree and we're going to remove it. We begin by removing U S null terminator. We end up at this node. This node has more than one child, so we know we can stop there. Although we need to remember the rule that all internal nodes of a particular tree must have at least two children. In order to do this, we must concatenate the edge labeled E with the edge labeled AN, giving us the resulting edge labeled ANE null terminator to indicate that remain is still a word. The last operation that I'm going to discuss with respect to the Patricia tree data structure is search. This is the same as tree with the exception of minor modifications required for handling the edge labels. In this example, we search for the word rubicundus. We search R U B I C U N D U S null terminator. So yes, Rubicundus is a word in this Patricia tree and we can return true. This is the same running time as the tree, big O M, where M is the size of the word. In summary, I already discussed insertion, deletion, and search. I didn't discuss storage. If M is the total length of all strings and N is the number of all strings stored in a Patricia tree, then the storage uses big O uh, lowercase n times uppercase N plus uppercase M remembering that uppercase N is the size of the alphabet. The following table shows a comparison between the tree and Patricia tree data structures. You will notice that insertion, deletion, and search all have the same running time. You are saving some in storage with the Patricia tree data structure. 